I'm meteorologist Gina Kraft here in Bandera, Texas, where we are counting down until the total solar eclipse. It's a big, big day and it's starting early. <laughs> We're all getting ready for the big great owl eclipse. We've got over 300 Rice people, alumni, students, faculty, and, and friends all here to, to observe the eclipse and also to do some science. I love the shirt. I gotta get my shirt. I gotta get my shirt. That's awesome. That's a good game. Yeah, we're, we're even seeing a little patches of blue. If it's like yesterday, we're oh, maybe right? in good shape. Fox San Antonio, good morning. Nice to meet you. We've been planning this for two years. We have. We're really excited, thanks to, to Pat and her team, planning it for two years. We actually changed the class schedule so students don't have class today. And some are here, some are in Austin, some are in Dallas. And this is an exciting, exciting day for us. 21 years, it's going to be in next one in Texas. There's going to be one in Egypt, I think, in like two years, three years, something like that. But, you know, uh, quite a far while from here. So, and this is a really good eclipse. You know, not every eclipse is the same quality. This one's going to last for at maximum about four minutes and 20 seconds. That's a long time to be in the dark. It's a lot of collaboration. It's not just the museum, but Rice. And uh, we, are, we are all working together to make sure that we get this, get this done. We have uh, lots of telescopes, multiple different uh, streaming uplinks to make sure that that signal is getting sent out to uh, news stations, live streams, any, anyone who will take it. Take a look at her dress. Is this not the best? I, you'll only see this right here. And then she's got a hat that says, hello totality. The collaboration with the, with the museum uh, is wonderful. I mean, I, I, it's been fun to see the, the combination of, of Rice and Museum of Natural Sciences people working together. Well, we've been planning this event for actually two years. So it's really fantastic to see it come together. But from a school standpoint, it's, it's just amazing to gather all these Rice alumni and friends, and many of them are uh, alumni of natural sciences. So it's, it's just, as a school, we're trying to promote what we do and uh, build a stronger relationship with alumni. So an event like this is just an amazing opportunity. Already, <laughs> definitely ready. We have 300, over 300 people here. I've been to many, many Rice events, but I must say I haven't been to an event that brought out such a diverse group of people from all schools at Rice faculty, staff, students, alumni, friends of Rice University, all here uh, to celebrate an incredible natural phenomenon, but also to, uh, to further build uh, the Rice community, as, as Tom mentioned. I see it. Ah. Yay, hello. Oh. Travis, I know you saw this a couple of moments ago. All of a sudden, there was a big yell in the crowd because the clouds did part for just a moment and we got a quick look and let me tell you it was incredible. We're about uh, not quite 20 minutes away from totality and it's getting cooler and it's getting darker and the wind is picking up so we're definitely feeling the effects even though we're only getting a quick peek now and then from the sky. It is getting dark so fast. Five, four, three, Two, one. I said, good morning, my love. <laughs> the What's sun's that? come up again. So special. Hey. What a wonderful experience. <laughs> yeah, you win some, you lose some, and some get clouded out. <laughs> but we felt the dark. We felt the wind. We saw the birds. Uh, I saw th three birds going this way, and then after they went back that way. <laughs> This was amazing, right? I mean, we didn't know whether we were gonna be able to see it or not. And uh, even though we didn't get to actually see the sun itself during totality, I, I thought it was just amazing. I mean, it got dark so fast, it was totally surreal. Um, we got to see uh, some birds flying shortly after the sun started to reappear, feel the temperature starting to drop. We were all noticing that. I mean, and to 
experience it all together, I think, made it that much more magical. Well, in the end, that's why we do these things as a group, because it's a fantastic opportunity to get together as a community to celebrate our rice heritage. Rice has been so important to me in my own career. And so that was, we were going to come regardless as to the weather. I always kind of knew that rice was my place as soon as I stepped foot, like, for a tour. But like seeing all this and seeing like meeting a lot of new people that I can just immediately be a friend. Like we have a lot of the same interests. It just like solidifies like rice is definitely the place for me. Like all of this right here, this is, these are my people.